This video will take you through setting up your new kit step by step. It'll take about an hour. Let's start with getting your V6 box upgraded to Virgin TV 360. You'll get two shiny new 360 remotes, but only one new box. This isn't a mistake. It's because your existing V6 box will be magically converted to 360 with one of them. The other will be used with your new 360 mini box. Make sure you watch any recorded shows you want to see as they won't be transferred over. For this bit, you'll need your Virgin V6 box, your Virgin V6 remote and the new 360 remote when prompted. This will take about 30 minutes. Ready? Turn the V6 box on and make sure you're connected to the internet. To start your upgrade, select Upgrade to Virgin TV 360 now from the home screen. When you see this screen, press OK on your V6 remote to continue. If you don't see Upgrade to Virgin TV 360 now, go to All Apps within Apps and Games and select Install Now. When you see this screen, pull the tab out of the 360 remote you took from the box, then follow the on-screen instructions. If nothing happens after a few tries of pressing OK with your 360 remote, use your V6 remote and press the red button. Then enter the verification code 847446. Follow the on-screen messaging which will confirm when your upgrade is complete. Congratulations! Your 360 box is all upgraded and ready to use. Now, let's get your old kit uninstalled. You might need a spanner for this bit. You can find one in the box we sent and your TiVo box. This will take about 30 minutes. Ready? Switch off and unplug the old box at the socket. Then switch off and unplug the power supply lead on the back of the old box. Remove the connector cable. This is where the spanner might come in handy. Remove the HDMI or SCART cable, connecting your old box to your TV. Check the packaging your new kit came in for more details on how to return or recycle your old kit. All done? Great! Now we're going to set up the Virgin TV 360 mini box. For this bit, you'll need the 360 mini box, its power supply, remote control, the supplied HDMI cable, and the cable adapter. Feel free to pause the video now while you get everything you need. This should take 15 minutes. Join the two parts of the power supply together. Connect the short cable adapter to the connector cable that was plugged into your old TV box. Depending on the cable type, this may require the spanner. Attach the connector cable with the white end to the socket of your new box. Cables are push fit. Test they are securely connected by pulling them gently. Connect the supplied HDMI cable to the box and your TV. Take a note of the name of the HDMI port. Virgin TV 360 supports 4K. If you have a 4K TV, connect to a 4K HDCP 2.2 compliance socket. If you aren't sure, check your TV manual. Connect the power supply and then plug the 360 box into the mains. Switch it on at the wall and on the back of the box. On your TV remote, push the input button. It might be labeled AV or source. Then scroll to the HDMI port you connected the cable to. When you see the welcome screen, pull the tab out of your 360 remote. Using your remote, follow the on-screen instructions for setting up via Wi-Fi. Once you've got a good connection, your 360 box will start downloading the latest software. The update will take up to 10 minutes and will involve one restart. Get more from your kit by watching telly wherever you are with the Virgin TV Go app at no extra cost. Set and stream recordings and control your 360 box 
Access live TV and on-demand content on up to five devices. Content available is dependent on your package. Visit the App Store or the Play Store and search Virgin TV Go. And that's it, you're done. Nice one. Go to virginmedia.com forward slash help for more help and support.